For NJ Vance Media, I am Connor Hughes. Well, the Jets lost as expected to the New Orleans Saints on Sunday, 31-19. The game was at some points close, but as has kind of been the story of the 2017 Jets, the opponent actually pulled away in the fourth quarter. And, you know, after the game, Todd Bowles came out and said that Bryce Petty will start Week 16 against the L.A. Chargers, which, you know, is probably the, the right move. You know, Petty got all the first-team reps last week, and he did do some good things against uh, uh, New Orleans to – deserve a little bit extra playing time and deserve another shot to start but he should absolutely be on a very short lease against the chargers because look I, I, the jets because of how this season has gone now towards the tail end of the year you know the fact that they've lost seven of their last nine games and if they lose to the chargers and patriots which seems pretty likely they will have lost nine of their last 11 games to close out the year they are now in a position where they're going to be picking, well, not number one or number two. You know, the Giants and, and Browns pretty much have those spots locked up. They are very much in the running for the number three pick in the draft. They are very much in the running for the number four, number five pick in the draft. That's going to put them in a position to draft either Lamar Jackson out of Louisville, to draft Josh Allen out of Wyoming, to draft Oklahoma's Baker Mayfield. They're going to be in a position to take one of those guys. But you can't take one of those guys if you've never seen your second round pick from 2016 play in a game. You know, this, this Sunday's, Sunday's loss to the Saints was just the third time Christian Hackenberg has even worn a Jets uniform on Sunday. He did show, you know, he did play a lot in, in the tra in training camp where he got a ton of reps. In fact, out rep Josh McCown and Bryce Petty. He did start two preseason games, but that is not enough to get an accurate read on a guy that you obviously felt good enough to draft in the second round. So, the Jets right now are in a position where before the 2017 season ends, they have to see Hackenberg play. Now, if Petty goes out there against the Chargers and lights it up and builds a 28-0 lead at halftime, you don't pull the plug and go to Hackenberg. But if Petty goes three and out on three straight drives, if he throws an interception and fumbles or Joey Bosa pokes one out and the Chargers start going up by two, three scores, you got to get him out of there. You got to get Hackenberg in because eventually you have to see this guy play. You can't make an accurate assessment on him off of what you've seen in practice or what you've seen in the preseason. He has to get in here in a regular season game where the live bullets are flying, where you can see what he has. Maybe he takes his lumps. Maybe he's bad. Maybe he makes a play here or there that at least gives you confidence he can be something. He doesn't have to light it up for 400 yards and five touchdowns, but he's, you just have to see what he does for better, for worse, for, for the greatness or the worseness. You just got to see Christian Hackenberg play a game. For NJ Vance Media, I'm Connor Hughes.